G'day, Paul and Pauline here down by the river. And we're bringing you another reading from the Word of God. And we're starting to look at the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. And there's possibly three ways at least to understand the Beatitudes, these blessings. Firstly, they are a code of ethics for the believer. They'll teach us how we should be behaving. Secondly, they contrast kingdom values with worldly values. They don't promise laughter and pleasure or earthly prosperity, but rather they promise peace and hope and joy of the deepest kind. And they contrast the superficial faith of the Pharisees with the real faith that Christ wants for us. And they describe what we should be like as followers of Jesus, our Lord. And we're going to start with Pauline reading from Matthew chapter 5, 1 to 3. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Does that come next? Yes. Let's talk about that. It is in sorrow that God's promises mean so much to us. It is then that we are comforted. They say that the fragrance of flowers is richer at night. And it's the same with human lives also. It takes the night of sorrow to call forth their sweet fragrances, patience, sympathy and love and forgiveness. We must also remember that it is those who mourn over their own sin, those who truly, truly are penitent, who find the comfort of forgiveness. Unto them that mourn in Zion, God has appointed to give beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And he tells us that in Isaiah 61 verse 3. And Jeremiah says, I will turn their mourning into joy and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And another promise comes out of Isaiah 57, verse 18, where the Lord says, I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Hallelujah. We've just had the pleasure of praying with a dear sister up in Sunshine Coast and we were able to give her the comfort of the Lord from those verses. This reading, Matthew chapter 5, the very beginning is seeing the crowds, he went up onto the mountain and when Jesus sat down, his disciples came to him. To me that's a reminder that we have to seek Jesus' presence first and um, then things will change because it's not of this world but it's of the kingdom of God and it's a different realm so for me when I read that it's a reminder that Jesus needs to be number one and in the rightful place in our lives and we need to sit down and listen to Mm. him Mm. so you get into the word and let the word of God get into you bye for now see you again